Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's discuss about process for uh, sorry <coughs> process for uh, trademarks registration. How we can start? I mean, how you can register the trademarks? So to to uh, to seek trademark registration, obviously the proprietor or you can say the proprietor or the owner of the trademark has to fill an application definitely the owner has to fill the application if at all he is from uh, uh, like a foreign uh, uh, owner or uh, in some other country he wants to uh, you know file a trademark then he has to choose an agent whatever the agent uh, uh, is uh, what do you care what do you call his agent or office um, imagine you have a agent in some other country he has he is filing on behalf of you but his office where exactly his office is there okay so based on that only he can uh, you know file the trademark for example uh, maybe someone like Elon Musk or some kind of these businessmen and all if they want to put he wants to put a plant or uh, trademark in one of his companies tra trademark in India then the agent's office will be imagine in Delhi so then he has to go for a Delhi uh, the trademark uh, office to register so the proprietor may choose to hire an agent to fill and submit the application form so once you choose him so obviously before applying the applicant needs to conduct a prior art research he, he has to make sure that uh, this particular trademark is not existing so far and that means like a prior art search what we did it for a uh, patent uh, copyright it's the same prior art search so prior so here in prior art search what you will do prior to applying a trademark registration you are going to check if the similar or the same trademark exists or not so it is always prudent to check whether the intended trademark is already existed or registered or not. So also it is ascertained, ascertained whether the intended trademark is not similar to the ones already registered or not, right. So whether we need to check if it is already registered trademark is there, whether it is same as that, that we have to check. Now the requisite search can be carried out based on many portals, okay. So the first one is we are having a uh, CGPDM that is Controller General of Patents, Designs and uh, Trademarks. So public search is there for trademarks and uh, you can uh, uh, see the link here and just you can click on that and you can access like ipindiaservice.government.in. Okay. So under that we have we are having a separate portal that is uh, you know uh, public search. Okay. Next, we are having WIPO that is uh, World Intellectual Property Organization's Global Brand Database is there that is www.wipo.int bar brand db slash n. Next, we are having uh, TESS that is Trademark Electronic Search System. Next, Mercaria that is uh, trademark search engine next finally we are having walk in search so we are having cgpdm uh, cgpdtm wipo tes Mercaria, and wakil okay so one of the prior art search is over once you feel that this is done your prior art search is done and no other uh, i mean your whatever the trademark you are going is not existing any of these search engines okay the applicant now you can go for the applicant it's he should be convinced that this uh, distinctiveness of the trademark is not similar to already existing in any of these five databases so he can then proceed to file fill the application form for registration that is tma okay next the the application is filled at the trademark office subject to the uh, jurisdiction of uh, applicant so this is the these are the sum of the steps in this direction all of you know that every application has got uh, you know they all are territorial all those things that we have discussed for patents and copyright same thing was for trademarks so the steps involved in the registration process are as follows see this is the uh, you know receipt of applications 
okay once you apply they will receive your application they will put a data entry and digitization at all the these things will be there this all thing happens at the branch offices now once the application is filed the examination of application will be there okay slight different from the patents here it will be directly examination of the application or approval by the supervisors and then finally a release of examination report once the examination report is there now two things are there whether objection will be there or objection will not be there if objections are not there from the examiners then they will publish in the trademark journal if at all objections are there then that uh, those objections need to be rectified by the home the applicant so objections response by the applicant then the supervisor said if once the response is given by the applicant supervisors again or examiners again examine it they will see if they are satisfied with your answers okay for their queries then supervisors uh, then you can then that will be published in the trademark journal if at all supervisors are not satisfied with the response then the application will be refused it will be rejected then you can appeal may be made before the ip ab that is uh, intel uh, um uh, for example intellectual uh, sorry uh, intellectual property appeal uh, board something like that okay so that is ipab now that is diluted and now uh, they have made a separate IP, ip division for the trademark so now coming back to this thing this is done if everything is right this i mean if everything is wrong this is what happens if at all objections are not there directly publication if at all uh, the objections are there and if at all it is rectified and if the supervisors are satisfied with the response again that will be there in the publication okay once this they are there in publication in the case of opposition if any oppositions are there then they will hear opposition also if at all opposition fails okay if opposition is accepted then your application will be refused if at all if opposition no oppositions are there or oppositions uh, uh, decided in the favor of the applicant then the trademark will be registered okay note that the, the decision of ipab is in the favor of applicant definitely the procedure is followed by the registration of the trademark like this procedure okay as per the notification of the delhi high court 2021 ipab is abolished abolished now and dedicated ip divisions have been uh, created to deal with the ipr issue next topic uh, we are having famous uh, case laws uh, that is like coca cola versus bisleri on uh, maza trademark that we will discuss in the next class